After the last update on the P40 series, the Purple G app, which is also called as LG Play, doesn't work. So many people were upset and asked me about the new method on our Telegram group as well as in our WhatsApp group and also in the comments. If you are yet to join the Telegram and WhatsApp group, then link is in the description. Don't forget to check that out. Although there is a lot of method on YouTube, but only few are successful. So I have always offered the best and easiest method to our viewers. After so long, I finally found a solution that's simple too. Before starting the video, do like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and also watch my other videos too. So let's get started. Today I am going to do the video on based on the Nova 7i, which is also called as P40 Lite, and it's already updated to 10.1.0.228, which is the latest update, and there is no GMS on it. Just follow these steps and you will have the GMS working. Basically for this process you need a PC without that this method won't work. First up in the PC you have to download the HiSuit app. The link for the download is in the description below. Now open the app and connect the mobile using the data cable. Now select transfer files in the mobile. Go to the settings, type USB in the search bar and select allow USB debugging. Now click allow connection with HDB. Now click USB in the HiSuit app in PC and follow the on-screen instructions. Now it will automatically install the HiSuit app in mobile and then on PC it will ask you to feed the verification code. Once you do with that, now we'll start the downgrade process. Now click the update. Once you click, you will see this screen. Now click switch to other versions. Now you see on the screen is the base version details. Remember, this is only version it can be downgraded. It's the same version which was available out of the box. If you don't find the switch to other version, then you have to wait for some days until we have a solution for that. Now click the restore process, sit back and relax. It will take time based on your internet speed. It's approximately 3.27 GBs. Once the download is complete, disconnect the cable from the mobile and let's go to the installation of the GMS step. Okay, so before starting the step, if you have not subscribed to our channel, then don't forget to subscribe. Also, follow me on my social media handles. So let's get started with the GMS installation. Step 1. Download the files from the description below. Either you can download it directly to your mobile or you can use the USB or a PC to transfer it to the mobile. Step 2. Change the date and time settings to 2019. Step 3. Go to apps, uninstall backup file. Step 4. Go to downloaded folder and install Huawei Backup APK. Step 5. Now move the Huawei folder to internal storage and click merge. Step 6. Go to backup and restore in settings, then data backup then click the three dots on the top and restore from internal storage. Step 7. In the new window, select the file and restore. Step 8. Now it will ask the password. Put the same words mentioned in the hint. Step 9. Now you can see the purple G installed. Open it and activate that. Now go to settings and change the date back to automatic and come back to the purple G and press the blue bar. Step 10. Now go to downloaded folder and install the apps from 2 to 7. Step 11. 
Now go to the settings, user and accounts, add account, then press Google. Step 12. Now click existing and click the three dots and sign in using browser. Put down your credentials. Step 13. Now when you see this error, just go back to the folder and install the app number 8. Once installed, go back to the sign in window and click next. Step 14. Now open the Play Store and it will be working. But you will notice the Play Protect notification. Don't worry. Step 15. Now head over to Settings, Apps and search for Google Framework Service and Clear Data and Cache. Then restart the device. Step number 16. Once restarted, see if the notification is stopped. In my case, it didn't stop. So again, go to settings, uninstall the play service. And again, go to the Google framework and clear data and clear cache. Step 17. Now go to the downloaded folder and install the last app number 10. Now the notification would have been stopped. Step number 18. Again, restart the mobile to check if the GMS is working fine. Yes, it's perfect for me now. If you are getting the error, then again follow the step number 16, 17 and 18. It will work for sure. Now you can update your device to the new version or you can stay in the same version. It's totally up to your decision. But I would recommend to update the device. Once the device is updated, the GMS will work perfectly fine. I hope this video helps you. If yes, then a like to this video would be awesome. That's it from me today. I'll meet you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye.